year high school improv club reunion show. So we haven't performed together for about 10 years. Some of us have, some of us um, haven't seen each other for a while. But we have rehearsed, so don't worry. Um, and this is going to be such a fun show. Uh, we're going to start it out in a similar sort of theme. So can I please get a suggestion for why you would not want to go to your 10-year uh, high school reunion? Because I know none of you want to, so let's just tell the truth here. Come on. I never really liked any of them to begin with. Never really liked any of them? Anybody else? <laughs> All right, well, you never really liked anybody that you went to school with, so thank you. <laughs> So here's a moment. Um, I'm going to talk to you now because I was decided to have by far the most embarrassing life of any person in this group. So here's a real story. Um, there was a time in which I was looking for a job here in Chicago. I've been here for three years uh, as a teacher, and I could not find a job at all. And a friend of mine was like, you know what we're going to do? This is good luck. We're going to go to Promontory Point, which is on the south side. We're going to get some bottles of wine. We're going to drink. We're going to have a picnic, and that'll be good luck for you. So I say, OK. And then we get there, and I get a call, and I can't hear anything because there's waves from Lake Michigan. So I run away from my from all of my friends to go find sort of quiet. I pick up the phone. And they're like, "Hello, they said, we want to give you a job." And I'm like, "Can't hear you." I'm like, "Sorry, could you repeat that?" And then it's like, "I work on that," and I couldn't hear anything, and I really got freaked out. And I go back to talk to them, and they're they're like. Yeah, that was, that was me. I called you. It's my friend Kevin. He's like, I called you on the phone. And I was like, why would you do that? Do you not like, actually like me? Because I really wanted a job, and I was freaking out. And Kevin was just like, I thought it would be funny. And Gets me every time. I know. It is quite hard to make a wine selection, isn't it? That oh, so <laughs> I, there's this nice vintage red right over here. I know. My doctor, my, my dentist, told me not to. The red wines. So. We've got a nice selection of white right over here as well. Oh. If white's your thing, if that's your taste, if you like to you know, what wine? I just, I just know that you guys had a really rough winter, so your iced wine selection's not really that great. David? They're not, honey. They're not great anymore. <laughs> they're, they're actually really nice. they're, uh, I'm trying my best to sell it, but uh, it's been a hard season. It has. Uh, we, we definitely have all the things that we had in stock from actually maybe about a year ago. Um, I was told to try and sell those first. Uh, haven't had a lot of luck with it. But maybe you'll give it a go. Uh, they're actually Franzia. I told uh, you. I told you that I wanted the most expensive and most ridiculously expensive wine. Um, okay. I would like. We have a bottle of wine that uh, was once uh, drank and then spit out by a very famous celebrity. Who was the celebrity? Uh, it was Robert Downey Jr. He, Robert uh, Downey Jr. Uh, <laughs> had a sip, he was like, what is this shit? Spit it out on me. I didn't wash that shirt, I've kept it since. That sounds perfect. Wait, is Wait, it green? white or is it red? Uh, uh, it's a rosé, actually. Oh. Oh, no. It's a rosé. Yeah. Pre, pre or post-rehab? Post, um, uh, well, uh, I think he might have actually tried it before and after rehab. Have you forgotten that he had tried it? There, might be, some, there might be some left of a medication in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think, <laughs> would you like to taste? You know, maybe a partial deal of drugs. I just want you to be happy so you stay with me, Heather. That's all I don't care about. Right, I get to take water. It's just, when you're a dentist, I'm just going to hold it, um, if that's okay. Um, it's just, your, your dentist is a really scary guy. And, and, and I, I love you, I do, but if his wrath enters our home again. No, I hate, I hate that he makes house calls. <laughs>
so glad you agreed to talk to me today. I need to talk you out of something, actually, which is your whole quest to become a teacher. I've been one for 13 <laughs> long, <laughs> difficult years, and I see the gleam in your eye, the joy, and whatever, that's that, that thing that I don't have anymore. I just want to be around children. Oh, that's the, wrong, the, the that's wrongest the possible way to start the conversation. You're going to spend so much time in meetings. You're going to spend so much time with adults that don't even know how to function. The <laughs> kids are. Eyes. Yeah, I hope so, because the whole point of this discussion is to get you on a better track. I like meetings. I actually, I, I truly enjoy meetings. I love meeting with parents. I, you know, I enjoy everything about children. I like desks. I, this was the perfect career for me. I think what you really are imagining is what you used to do when you were a child, so carefree, my little nephew, and who knew all about what do you want to do in a group. But let's do a little role play here. I'm a frustrated parent. It's parent-teacher conferences, and I'm sitting down, I'm bringing all of my everything. I'm you ready. ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. How come Jimmy doesn't have an A? Jimmy ate his homework. And, <laughs> and Jimmy, I don't like Jimmy. <laughs> I never liked Jimmy. This is the worst possible thing you can ever say. <laughs> you don't like the child. You Honestly, it's the best the policy. And I was always taught, and this is another reason why I wanted to be a teacher. I thought I could be honest with people. But I realized that adults just can't take honesty. And I think kids, kids are like the best receptacles for honesty. <coughs> when you are angry with them, you know, you can just tell them their face. Jimmy, I hate you. And they kind of <laughs> you will damage them, and you will Mr. Hamilton, Ms. Lawrence, the film strip's done. Jimmy, I hate you. <laughs> so, 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 Jimmy. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you doing all right over there? Going okay? So, Evan can only say 
phrases that start with the letters F, B, I. Switch left. Can I get a opening line dialogue? A what? A what? <laughs> An opening line dialogue, like a thing that you say. In the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so for this, uh, their game is going to be a word snake, letter, a letter snake. Yeah. So basically, whenever someone ends a sentence, um, the next person has to start uh, a sentence with that letter. So in the beginning, ends with a G. So the next person starts their sentence with a G. Switch left. Can I get an occupation? Nurse. Nurse. Uh, and can I get a letter of the alphabet? Z. Z. So <laughs> how this game works is the uh, first person who starts talking is going to say uh, a sentence that starts with letter Z, next person's A, then B, and so on. Switch left. Alright, can I get a grand theme of life? Marriage, death, and taxes, and other things of life? Parenthood. Parenthood. And for this, can I get... Well, oh, uh, can I get a number between 1 and 8? 4. 4. Uh, Carrie, you can only say four word phrases. Uh, and can I get another number one through time? Just shout out literally Nine. any number. 9? Alright. <laughs> Sorry. I got this. <laughs> so, I got it. Chelsea can only say nine word phrases. <laughs> Alright, switch left. We're in a barber shop and FBI. Alright, switch left. In the beginning. Word, letter say. Switch left. And Z. Switch left. Parenthood and nine. Or forward Z. Switch left. Why, thank you, sir. Flowing, beautiful, lick. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you, I know my hair's short, uh, but this is the first time I've ever got my hair cut. <laughs> I'm a little, little nervous. Um, does it hurt? Festering boil inside. <laughs> okay, you know what? I didn't know you were a dermatologist. Can you just kind of avoid that for me, please? Um, okay, just you can just cut it. Um, God, I never realized it looks so ugly with a cape around my neck. <laughs> Does everybody look this ugly? Fancy. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some mixed signals. <laughs> oh, was, is that shampoo or uh, just kind of? Just... Is this a normal thing? Um, what is? What are you putting on my head? First, boiling indigo. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Commitment. 
and committing to the 14 seconds really seems like something you should be doing. <laughs> Gavin, why are you, you haven't been, I want to hear your 14 seconds. Or is it, is it everybody has a different number of seconds they wait? Like I have, I'm designated 14 for the rest of my life. Maybe you have two seconds or something. Great, you figured it out. I have half a second. <laughs> and you've got the 14. Switch left. Zoid Stars is not gonna make it! <laughs> Absolutely not, nurse. But you said we could play uh, nurses for a while. Can't you get anything right? I was supposed to be the nurse. Do it then. I'll be the patient. <laughs> Everything's going wrong! Oh my. <laughs> For the love of God, put me out of my misery! <laughs> glorious, glorious acting. I, but I, you know what I think could really improve this? Real death. <laughs> <So slow. laughs> Carla. Just, just so we're clear, you're not gonna come 
that in the event, right? Like, you got that out of your system. The stitches, that, you know, that costs a lot of money. What's we heart? We, you know, we, I, I'm, I'm not done yet. <laughs> and maybe, maybe you could be done. Maybe, maybe. No, no, I really think we need, we need full, we need to commit. I mean, if we're going to play nurses, one of us has to die. Oh, dear God. <laughs> maybe we can get someone else involved. Uh, there's that homeless man across the street that I've never really liked. <laughs> oh. <Thanks a> lot. <laughs> Carla, I think our son wants to be a barber. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. He also couldn't stop talking about boiling water. Yeah. <laughs> boiling water. I think, maybe, I should keep circling you, <laughs> right? If you want to. So yeah, also, we need to kick him out. No, Bob. No, no! <laughs> Are you saying I should leave our beautiful home? Can't we live together? We can live together in perfect harmony without sun. <laughs> <laughs> Found Bob ill. Your stepdad. <laughs> oh my god. After everything you've told me, that's that's terrible. And did he get any better? Finally barfed. Ick! <laughs> Okay, I've heard enough. I'll let you pour boiling water all over my head. <laughs> Just, is this the first time that you've done this? First, but ick. Who's <laughs> left? Who's <laughs> left? <laughs>
restrict. You can't eat things unless it's in a special right. room. See, I don't know why you guys would take away my dreams. I love standardized tests. No, they they were one of my passions. They're standardized. Up. They're the same they're, everywhere. Exactly. Beautiful. It's like love. Like look. It's like math. They're moving in precision. Like. like <laughs> see you guys, that's it. keep it up. Keep it up. It's a shame you're not a few years older because it seems like the two of you are made for each other in some cuckoo town where you love things that are stifling creativity. It's creativity though. It's like it's pretty overrated. I like to think that. You know, you come into school and what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're learning how, like, the same things everyone else has learned before you, and it's just, it's, it's it along. nice. You're, you're it's just it nice. It's, it's sameness. It's sameness. Exactly. Like, I eat oatmeal, and there's no raisins in it. It's just My like, God! But I eat oatmeal without raisins. <laughs> love, love it in the morning. Yeah. In the morning. I feel like I'm trying to, like, Dig a hole in a beach and the water just keeps rolling in. Like every time I think I've made progress with the two of you, you bring up some weird analogy. You know I what? love analogies, but this whole breakfast cereal. You have made progress. You know what I think? I think we should become teachers. I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Amen, I'm here brother. That's no, never what I said. <laughs> Not even okay. close. Okay. So these kids' SATs are now invalidated, though, right? Oh, like, absolutely. I <laughs> The form I have to fill out for this is you wouldn't even want to. I mean, maybe Wait, you would want to. Hold on! There are forms? Oh. Show me this form. That oh. sounds <laughs> real nice. It's called the regularity reports, and they're really frustrating to have to handle. Oh, uh, do you need you? a pre sharpened number two pencil? I do! <laughs> so, um, I talked to a lot of mole people. I <laughs> think we can do something with them. Um, their society's primitive, but like, they're ready to move on, like they, they, they seem like they want to learn, they need people to teach them. I think I, I can teach the mole people. <laughs> I think you're trying to stay out of the holes. <laughs> no, 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 I just think that there's like more to life for these so I, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, a favorite! Yeah, but you do seem to like have a way with them though. That's yeah, what I'm saying. you do, you do seem to have a way with them, they listen to you. Ow. Um, Sorry, I need to wash the holes again. Um, no, like, Excuse me, um, hi, I am a lawyer. Um, I saw you just fall, are you on the job right now? It's complicated, like I am working for money, but it's not like I'm- Cause I think, I think you could get some <laughs> workers comp for that. If you don't say anything, I'll make you king of the old people. Hi. King of the old people. Uh, digging holes is a fun hobby that I do on my own time, so unless I'm getting workers comp from uh, fun, uh, there's no... Uh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm king of the mole people, and I think you're making promises that you can't keep. I, uh... Babe, you stop talking, I'm going to do this. Well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, what? Hey. Hello, oh. um, Sir Mole? King. King Your Mole? Highness. Your, you. your bonus. Yes. Uh, <laughs> once, uh, I feel like um, we had a connection, and now if you both stop talking to each other, I'll make you empress of the little people. That's a step up. Uh, I, I'll take it. I will take yeah, it. Yeah, and emperor. She, all right, I'm cute, I right? I, I, cute. Right? Uh, more, yeah. but more likely, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, for like I'm gonna go with that. I mean, I'll. They're fine here. Everyone's fine. Yeah, everyone's fine here. Yeah, I'm just a lawyer, so I'm just gonna leave. And like, I need here. It's all right. So I feel like there's a lot of paperwork for like being emperor of mole people. Not as much as you think, actually. Oh no. So you just stay out here. Oh, I mean, I like I kind of I want the paperwork. Oh, you want some paperwork now? You know, the lawyer's gone. Okay, you're gonna stay out here. Wait, can lawyer? She's gone. She's gone. Better, I have some paperwork. Paperwork? Oh, I used to be a teacher. I love paperwork. <laughs> All right, we can do paperwork. Yes. Right, we can do paperwork. So uh, let's make this official. Official. I, I buried my briefcase over there. Could you just? We, uh, we this is really a bunch of paper. We're really good at this one. Yeah. I'm not paying you, so you can't sue me if you get hurt. <laughs> I need to hire you. We are about to play a game. It's going to be a familiar thing for many of you if you watch the news because this is going to be a game called Strange Newscasters. And in it, we have five improvisators. 
And one of them is the typically standard anchor. The other co-anchor has something that uh, he's still wrestling with, uh, that he's maybe obsessed with, and just kind of always there under the surface for him. And it's related to his childhood. What childhood thing is he struggling with? Nightmare. He had nightmares as a child, and they plague him to this day. Wonderful. <laughs> we also have a sportscaster, and we would like to know what job she had before this one that definitely impacts how she conducts herself in this role as sportscaster. She was a hit woman. <laughs> All right. We also have a weather man, and his uh, strange foible is that there's uh, an animal that he is overly fascinated with, and we need to know what animal that is. A unicorn. He's overly fascinated <laughs> with unicorns, and that is seeping into his work. And last but of course not least, we have the man on the scene for whatever extraordinarily exciting news stories being covered. You need someone on the scene of the, of the event. And so we need to know what secret from uh, our newsman's on the spot, newsman's past, is he trying to reveal subtly. He doesn't want to just come out and say it, but it's really troubling. A secret from his past. He's good buddies with the North Korean dictator. <laughs> <laughs> he is good Buddies with Kim Jong Un. So, uh, we're going to take you live to the studio. Good morning. I'm Karen. Thank you for joining us today. I'm here with. Hi, Karen. Mark Mobius here. We're going to be talking about a lot of great headlines today. So much in the bright, sunny future for us. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to start out with the Thanksgiving Day Parade coming through the city today. We've got clowns, we've got unicorns, we've got everything you could possibly want. <laughs> right, so let's go to some of the tape footage. Here we see Macy's Day floats coming through, and with it, of course, everyone's favorite clown floating <laughs> ominously hovering over the children of our fair city. Just bobbing and weaving, in and out, only restrained by very teeny tiny people. Until they probably get up a high rise, no problem. Poke in on you at any time. With his big nose, gonna honk and honk and honk, honk. So, make sure to check out all of our fun moments of the Macy's Day Parade on our website. Good, Karen, do you? How do you make that sound so fun? Oh my gosh, so let's go to the field, um, out on the streets. We have Dave. Uh, hi Karen, thank you for that. Uh, I just wanted to say, like, this glorious day, can't really beat it. Thank you. <clears throat> you know who, you know who. Um, this is a, par well, parade, I mean, my old buddy, KJU, uh, he, um, you know, he has a little bit of higher standards here, but because they're like, they're marching, you know, out of, out of step. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay, it's okay. The glorious people's revolution will be here. Uh, not in this parade, but a parade coming soon. This is Dave. <laughs> All right, maybe that uh, Thanksgiving is not his holiday, that's okay. Yeah, it's not everyone's holiday, that's yeah. okay. Um, everyone there seems to be having a lot of fun. Right. Um, I hate to take us away from it, but we have Susan with the sports update. Thanks, Karen. Well, the White Sox won today after four members of the Detroit Tigers were found in a concrete pit in the South Side. <laughs> that, I mean, I mean uh, and uh, the the Blackhawks definitely didn't have any bodies buried under the ice or uh, anything like that. Uh, Sorry to cut into your report, but uh, we're not seeing that in our sources. Uh, what, uh, what kind of, um, uh, where'd you get this leaf? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah. Susan. Thank you for that. Uh, we are not worried about it. Thank you. Not worried about it at all. Yeah. Not at all. Um, Memory breathing exercises, Mark. <laughs> All right. Let's check in with the weatherman. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Take it away. Hey, before
before we get to the weather, are you doing all right, super guy? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm really good. I just, yeah. I just want you to know, I'm, I'm there for you. And our friendship can get, can get us through this, all right? Great. Yeah, no, it's fine. All right. Didn't wet him. So, as you can see, we've got a cool little warm front. It's going to come galloping through the uh, city. <laughs> it comes to a point right here at the northern uh, end of the city. Uh, it's going to be pretty magical. There might even be a rainbow from the rain. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah and then uh, a hurricane will come through and destroy the city. But then there will be another rainbow and a hurricane. So, uh, Possibility for maybe a double rainbow? Don't toy with my emotions. We talked about toying with my emotions. Sorry like that. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. I'm, I'm done. Like, come on, babe. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, a happy ending after all to that story. Hurricanes, <laughs> rainbows, and making up. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today here at Channel 7. I've been Karen. I've been Mark. <laughs> Good day. <laughs>
And just to get to know each other. Semi-circle up. Semi-circle up. Semi-circle up. And to get to know each other, what I find best, especially like day two of class, or day one even, like this, mm -hmm. tell us either your worst childhood memory or your worst fear about the future. And that really like just let everybody get to know each other in a real <laughs> relaxed manner. All right? All right, so we're going to start with uh, lawyer massager. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, I, uh, my biggest childhood uh, memory was uh, when my, my dad kept switching jobs and he was always on the road. Um, and so I was really scared that I would start switching jobs and being, being a teacher, and then a massage therapist, and then a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess I'm living my childhood nightmare. Should I have been listening to that? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> just to get them to freak out. Try to, try to be a teacher. Girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess my biggest fear is that. Um, after the nuclear fallout, people will try and well, they'll see the the mole kingdom as a as a superior option and try and move in. And we don't really have the vetting up like ability to see like who, who are the good humans and who are the bad humans. No offense, uh, humans. It's That's just right. most of us are bad ones. Yeah. <laughs> now, there. Did you see? I was sort of nodding and making a gesture with my face. Um, you I... want, you want to perfect those. And if they say something horribly awful, you have to intervene. But like that was kind of on that borderline. I'm just gonna like. I want to serve someone underage. <sighs> that's, what do you mean? That's a crime. <laughs> oh, oh, my my hey, hey, should we like? Are you okay? I know. I know. I am also. I am also a police officer. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 Safety is the number one priority of all yeah. my whole race. <laughs> so 
know she says she's careful when she smashes the guitars, but I don't think she's careful at all. She's really not. Nah, she's quite reckless. I tried to like I tried to start off on simple stuff, you know, white stance, you know, stay to the audience. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Hello, Perfect. Cleveland. Yeah. But then, how do I have? Four people with guitar parts in their eyes at the well, show. Um, hey, I am a lawyer. <laughs> oh, God. Um, did you say that you have four people with guitar parts in their eyes? Yeah, I got, uh, I got this. Hey, thanks, David. Hey, David, what's up? Yeah, I'm a rock and roll star. Can I Are take you? you to a wine bar? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate you being cooperative, but I. Yeah, cooperation five. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but we, I want to make this quick. I want us to get off the side of the road. We can go on our merry way. I just need to know which one of you was driving. Well, we pounded it. Yeah. <laughs> you were yeah, both driving. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pr prisoner's dilemma five right here. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll both be thrown in jail if yeah. someone does not confess. No, we can't go up. But, 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 but if, if one of us confesses and the other doesn't, then the other person goes to jail for a really long time. All right, right. Which, one it, which one of you is that going to be? I can't do another nickel a year. <laughs> so I think when we last spoke, you had a three second delay and we were dancing, right? That is okay, so that's true. Yes, that's good, true. good, good. So then what I'm thinking is, uh, you're going to do that one thing where you prop me up and I do sort of like the oh, um, the oh. dancing. Yes, you're yes, dancing. yes, yes. You're yes. Run into my arm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. The so last time. You're ready for this. You just get your three-second thing, but I'm gonna forgive you. Okay. All right. Okay. Freeze. <laughs> you see what you need? What you need is a light in your life. You need to change the way that you're on, and the sinning, and the digging, and the boozing. <laughs> but I like the boozing. I like it. I Every time, yeah. every time you reach the level, every time you reach the level, just think, just think of what, what would your, what would your brother Jeb say? What would your brother Jeb say if he were still here? But he's not. Because of the boozing, because of the boozing, he got that job down in Texas working for Corona. <laughs> Which I guess is not a negative consequence when I think about it, but that's what brought him away from you. That's what brought him away from you. It really hurts my feelings when you won't speak. Booze is the light of my life. Freeze. <laughs> You know, Jim, you're the best brewmaster that Corona's ever hired. <laughs> you're really, really good at brew. I'm, I'm, I'm boozing. I am also drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you.